After the fall of Constantine, my young student managed to establish stronger links between the old nations and the natives. Some of their Donegada were even invited to the continent, and with their help, it slowly became a land filled with life again. And for the first time in a long while, the number of cases of the Malachor is decreasing. Those who bravely fought at Dorhad Genadu were celebrated everywhere. After all, if it weren't for this unlikely alliance, the island would have fallen into Constantine's greedy hands. This victory allowed Siora to become the Marl of her village. But she often leaves to be reunited with the one she believes to be her soulmate. Zieglinda took Kurt as an advisor, but he insisted on keeping his place alongside his former student and friend, watching his back, as he always had. Afra set aside her weapons and went back to her research on the native culture and flora of the island. It is said that she is even writing a book with the help of Dunkas's clan when not visiting her friends. For his bravery, Vasco was awarded the rank of commander. He now travels the sea at the head of a whole fleet, but he often comes back to visit his brother-in-arms. Petrus's ambitions have finally been fulfilled. He obtained the much-coveted title of Cardinal. Despite the responsibilities implied by such a title, he still sometimes visits the one he calls his child. Despite the help Ulan received, which allowed him to restore the importance of the seaside Nemeus, he still had to renounce the role of Marl as he faced the contempt of the other clans. Her friendship with Aranaixe helped Deirdre to overcome her reticence. She willfully accepted to follow the orders of her new High King. Dunkas and his people spent a lot of time with savants and theologians. Patiently, they shared their knowledge of the Earth and learnt new techniques from one another. And in so doing, they restored balance between the New World and the Old. The natives' hostility towards the Alliance has not diminished, and Governor Byrne is in a delicate situation, especially considering some sordid rumors in al Saad regarding the practices of the scholars he protects. The public revelations of St. Matthias's life led to a deep change in Teleme. The Ordo Luminis was dismantled for good, and the missionary's purpose is now to establish dialogue rather than conversion. Aware that their culture of secrets would lead them to their demise, the Norts changed their methods. They welcomed numerous new recruits amongst them, notably natives. Under Zieglinder's control, the Guard returned to the honorable values that had made its reputation. And they did so all the more easily, now that their shadiest members were out of the picture. 